Namibia has significant potential for human development. The country is already upper middle income and has extensive natural resources such as diamonds, gold and uranium. It has plentiful fisheries, a large natural gas field, a small population and some of the most ideal conditions for renewable energy on the planet. Since independence, Namibia has achieved economic growth of about 4.5% per year, reduced poverty and also improved access to clean water. But compared to other upper-middle income countries, Namibia has the lowest access to improved sanitation facilities, fewest years of average education and the highest proportion of children suffering from undernutrition. The question now is, how can Namibia capitalize on its natural resources to promote rapid human development? To help answer this, the African Futures Project used the International Futures Forecasting System, IFS, to model various policies aimed at improving human development in Namibia through to 2040. Our analysis shows that Namibia could see significant benefits from investing in access to sanitation, boosting agricultural yields, improving primary school outcomes, and reducing maternal and child mortality. These policies all produce gains across a number of important areas of human well-being. The scenarios that involve a coordinated policy push across development systems deliver by far the most impressive overall returns. But those scenarios also reveal that there are competing priorities in any policy decision. For instance, improving family planning drives the steepest reduction in extreme poverty of any single policy, but also shrinks the size of the economy relative to the country's current trajectory. This happens because the intervention shrinks the size of the population and therefore the number of people available to produce and consume goods and services. Using tools like IFS can help policymakers better understand these types of trade-offs. Our analysis recommends that Namibia should invest in health extension programs that address communicable as well as non-communicable diseases, increase the flow of students through the education pipeline by investing at all levels of the education system, improve access to family planning programs to reduce population growth and the associated pressures on service delivery. Improve the efficiency of the agricultural sector. Improve the quality of governance and reduce inequality. For details on these and other recommended interventions to build a sustainable Namibia, visit www.issafrica.org.